Hi right then people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. It's time for your Leeds versus Everton post-match chat. Everton won 1-0. Um, sack the board, sack the board, sack the board. That's that's where we're at. Like, what are we doing? What are we playing at? Um, I said it would be a tough afternoon. A point wouldn't have been so bad, but it was toothless. Um, but all my all my hatred, because I do, I hate them, <laughs> is going towards the board. They are the reason we are in this situation. And as it stands right now, Leeds United are down unless something changes drastically within the next 24 to 48 hours. I don't know how we can get out of this mess. Listen, this is going to be negative. There are no positives. I don't know how you, you, know, you, you can find any from this. Please smash a like on the video if you can bring yourself to do that. Subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, and of course, hit that notification bell. And let's get into it. I don't think I do it. Oh, good. Arsenal started no, like house on fire. We do it if Signing good. number two for this new era. It's judgment day, people. Yeah! yeah! What did your boy tell you? He was never in doubt. Never in doubt. Yeah. So I'll continue to say it, and I'll continue to take flack on social media if so be it. But listen, sack of the board, sack of the board, sack of the board. We have not won a football game since Victor Orta told us, the paying fans, sack of the board. We've not won a game. We are the only team in the Premier League who've not won a game since we came back from 3-0 down to Bournemouth. 3-0 down. My friends just text me because it's been said the worst thing that could have happened to Leeds United this season was to beat Liverpool because it gave Jesse Marsh more time. They wanted him gone. They stuck with him far too long. Not only that, they've then failed to replace the manager. They had nine days, nine days to do it. And we're sat here with Michael Scabala in charge. And this is no disrespect to him, although he got it wrong today. And he got it wrong last week against Manchester United as well. But ultimately, the failure to replace Jesse Marsh with an adequate enough replacement has cost us three points. Has cost us a point at Everton. You know, Seamus Coleman scored a goal. What's Silly Amelier doing? The last three games now, he's made three errors. I'm worried that I'm blowing smoke too much up this kid's ass because is he all that, really? I don't want to throw... <laughs> he's he's too young, man. So much pressure. You know, the squad, the squad, the squad's not good enough. And guess what? The, the new signings, they ain't built for a relegation fight. Aronson, can't, Aronson shies away from 50-50s. Rutter's not ready for the Premier League. Record signing. People say I'm writing them off, but we're in a relegation fight here. Jack Harrison, oh my God, I will say it now, that is the worst performance Jack Harrison has ever put in for Leeds United. He couldn't hold the ball. He couldn't trap it. Why he continued to be allowed to take set pieces is beyond me. Why Scabala didn't take him off is beyond me. Why Somerville came off, I do not know, when he was the best of the forward line. We're just continuing to play Nonto beast in the kid because for a time under Jesse, it was Nonto FC. And we think, oh, he might create something out of nothing. But ultimately, if he's having, having an ineffective game, bring the kid off. He's 19. We're beasting him. Weston McKenney and Adams are good. However, they cannot progress the ball. They cannot pass the ball. Michael Scobala should have matched Everton up. And if that means calling on Darko JB, Sam Greenwood, do it. Do you know what I mean? Because that's where we lost the game. The midfield, the first half, Everton probably can't believe they weren't in front. We cleared them off the line a couple of times. They had a few chances. Leeds United, I don't even think, had a shot on target. We continued to try go long down, getting it in behind their fullbacks. Somerville and Nonto had no joy. Somerville more so than Nonto. All that Sean Dyche did whenever our wingers got it up against their fullbacks, best believe. Dwight McNeil or Awobi were alongside the fullback, and that just negated any sort of attack that we had. Patrick Bamford couldn't trap wind again. Um, he had a chance where it got put through to him by, I think it might have been McKenney or maybe even Harrison, the one good thing he did do. And instead of going with his right instep and putting it in the back of the net, he tried to go with the outside of his left boot. Like, what are you playing at? Leeds United do not look fit for the fight. They got up for Man United. They got up for Man United. They were not up for it today. Losing Vorba was catastrophic as well because then they had kittens every time Cop got it because he can't play with his left boot. The best player on that football pitch today for Leeds United was Junior Furpo. Props where props are due because everyone else was terrible. 
The subs didn't work again. Leeds United, I think, are going down. Like, Southampton have gone to Chelsea and won 1-0. Oh, my God. The best thing to come out of this is if Chelsea sack Potter and we can somehow convince him to come to Leeds United. But the worst thing is the board stuck with the previous manager, so no one now wants the job. We're now in a relegation... We're, we're in the relegation zone. I don't think we've ever been in there properly for a full week. We might have dipped in and out, but since we returned to the Premier League, we've not dropped in there. Now we're, we're rooted in there. We've got Southampton next week. We're not even in 18th, people. We're in 19th. We're a point above Southampton. Southampton will beat us. Can you imagine how toxic it's going to be at Ellum Road? Because of this board, because of the free stooges. You know, you get you get called out for, for calling them out. They put us in this mess. They're an absolute joke. And they have the audacity to write in program notes. They have the audacity to say to fans, sack her aboard in a condescending way, in an ironic way, that we weren't right. Because we were. You've had one good decision, and that was Marcelo Bielsa. Since then, it's been... The last 18 months have been an absolute shit show at this football club. And it's got from bad to worse. And it's easy with hindsight now. And I know a lot of people will say to me, oh, you said they were good. Our signings have been woeful. Rasmus Christensen. Rasmus Christensen did a foul throw. This is Premier League. A foul throw. In an attack. When we're chasing a game in a relegation dogfight, my man can't keep his foot on the ground and put a ball behind his head. It is mental, mental. Brendan Aronson, any 50-50 shies away from. I swear in the lead up to their goal, he shied away from a 50-50 with Decore. The best thing that happened on that football pitch was a bit of needle between the American lads and Dwight McNeil. That's, that's it. That's the only bit I got excited for. Because I was like, yes, McKenny, yes, Adams. But they can do that all day. They can't progress the ball. We miss Mark Rocker. But he should have rolled the dice, put JB on, put Greenwood on. Greenwood did more than Harrison did for 85 minutes, however long he was on. Somerville coming off was the wrong decision. I feel like I'm a broken record because I said it earlier, but it was the best of the front trio, quintet, whatever. Jack Harrison was woeful. It's his worst game. Worst game. But who else can we turn to? I looked at the subs and I'm thinking, this squad's bad. As it took for us to get into the relegation zone, for me to remove my blinkers and think, oh my God, we are actually woeful. They have to get a manager. They can't mess about. Because guess what? We're going down. And 49ers are still 49% stake. But that investment arm that they've got, that investment arm, they'll walk away. They'll walk away. Because that's what it is, a group. 16 years it took we finished ninth. Again, probably one of the worst things to happen to us in hindsight because they thought, Do you know what? We've got Bielsa. We don't need to give him any cash. We'll just back a guy who's a dead horse instead. Tracking him for two years. People will say, oh, Jesse, this, Jesse. No. This is our worst record after 20 games since 1947. Skabala's had three of them. So let's not pretend that Jesse was the Messiah. No. They need to change. They need to get a manager in. I believe they've spoken to Nuno's people, but but not close to it. Why are we not close to it? Why why are they clowning and waiting for managers like Slot and Iriola when we're not even going to be in the division? We're not even going to be in the Premier League. Do you think their managers managers are going to come then? No, they're not. So forget about offering. I can't. Why did you offer Cobra on eighteen months? Whatever it was. Give him a bit of stability. We've now got a week till Southampton. And I dare say they won't bring a manager in at that point either. They're an absolute joke and they're taking us down. You know, Mike Scobala's come out, you know, saying to Melier, Melier saved us a lot. He was caught out. It's shoddy goalkeeping. He did make a good save from Tarkovsky, but that's three games on the spin now for Melier. He's a young lad. But again, I worry that I've blown too much smoke up his ass. You know, that's where we're at. League table, 18th. No, 19th even. A point. We could be foot of the table next week. Impossible to get relegated. Why Why does this guy not know to be quiet? 
because he's coming out saying impossible to get relegated. We're now in 19th. He said we'd sign Bamba Dieng. He never sh showed up, you know. And look at the manager situation. White smoke today or tomorrow. <laughs> How long has it been now? Two weeks. Two weeks. It's mental. You know, Skabala's saying he's certain Leeds United can get out of it. Maybe. I, I, I can't see the wood through the trees at this point. But I'm sorry to say, not with Michael Skabala leading Leeds United. We need a manager with, with gravitas. Bring me Rafa. Bring me Nuno. Because all these... Sexy coaches you don't want, you, you know, you're after, don't want the job. Can you blame them? You know, Skabala says it's more a case of lacking creativity than being out for. I think it's both. I think it's both. You know, we didn't create no, man. Anything of no. Harrison, the one good thing, and Bamford decides to flick it with the outside of his left boot. It's brutal. It was never going to be easy going to Goodison, but it was a must not lose. Said that, must not lose. A point wouldn't have been so bad. But it was a must not lose. You know, Skabala's saying, I'm full of confidence we can get out of it. I mean, Rasmus is doing post-match interview. I don't know what's that about. He needs to learn how to throw a ball. I'm sorry, the acquisitions in the summer are not good enough either. And I think we're not built for this fight. This team is not built for a relegation dogfight. You know, they've got the likes of Coleman, 39 or whatever he is. What is he in his 40s, scoring goals, Tarkovsky, Cody? Nah. You know, when the best bit of fight we had, we came from the Americans, Adams and McKenney. Outside of that, phew, awful. The subs were all wrong. Cooper's obviously just making up bodies on the bench because he should have come on and Aileen should have stayed at right back. I'm worried because I'm thinking he's going to maraud upfield, get caught. You know, Rutter. Where was he? Don't know. Greenwood was probably best sub. Aronson buzzes about, but this is what I'm saying. Everyone who don't watch Leeds United regularly go, oh, Aronson, busy player, looks good, looks this. But when you watch it week in, week out, it's all old skirt and no knickers, whatever that saying is. They always get it mixed up. It was like whenever I'd gone on panel shows, people say, nah, Leeds, too good. But they would see, you know, Leeds against their side. You know, oh, yeah, the frantic, they're on the ball all the time. But when you watch it week in, week out, not good enough. You know, we tried to go down the chant, the flanks tonight. Daishi dealt with it. The midfield, we lost because we didn't have men in there. McKenny and Adams, too deep. Not giving us enough going forward. We should have matched them up. You know, it's mad because I'd, I'd have just brought, I said, I'd have brought JB on. I'd have brought JB on. And I said, and I brought Mateo Joseph on at left wing. That's what I'd have done, genuinely. Because you've worked with these lads. Bring JB on in midfield. Get Jack Harrison off. Go three in midfield. Have Bamford leading the line because we've got no other option because Jesse injured our bloody top goal scorer for two months. You know, Leave Somerville on because he was the best, and then put Joseph out on the left because he's played there for the under 21s. Do you know what I mean? All these, we've, oh God, we've just, yeah, we've made a complete mess of the whole situation that we find are in. And we're, I think we're going to go down at this point. I think we're going to go down. What's, what's the answer? You know, Chelsea, Chelsea have been beat by Southampton. Palace get a point. Bournemouth beat Wolves. Forest draw with City at home. And we are still yet to win a game. This year. This year. I forgot what it's like to win a football game. That's how bad it's getting, folks. We're going to go down. There's no fight either. Nothing. And say what you want about Bielsa, about Jesse, about Skabala, about the squad, certain individuals. The people at the top of this tree are the reason we are in this situation. They are the reason, the rhyme and reason. They, it, the book stops with them. And I'll say it again, sack of the board, sack of the board, sack of the board. The trio... Grateful for what you did to bring us back. One good decision made, Marcelo Bielsa. That's just facts. 
outside of that, the management choices have been poor. You know, some of the signings have been woeful. Angus Kinnear tells us all how to be football fans in programme notes. When all he's been brought in is to engineer a bloody move to a you know better stadium or whatever, or or improve the ground like he did at West Ham, like he did at Arsenal. I'm not footballing man. Rad Rosani puts too much stock into Victor. We should have listened to Middlesbrough fans. I used to love Victor. Nah, not anymore. It's like a house of cards and it's all coming down and quick. This club's depressing me. Like you would not believe. You would not believe. And we're not, I, I, I can't see the wood through the trees. The light at the end of the tunnel. I thought sacking Jesse would have given us that. But what they didn't do is then go and get a manager. They've left us. Like, what are they doing? Answer me the question. What are they doing? Do they know? Because I don't think I do and I don't think you do. My God. Remember when people used to say, well, who would you get in, Joe? I say, it's not my job. It's the director of football's job. Maybe I would have been better placed. Because he ain't doing out either. Today's performance was spineless. Spineless by him. Terrible. Not one. Junior Thurpo, one person. That's it. Everyone else was rubbish. The manager got it wrong. The substitutions were wrong. The whole club is stinking right now. You had Victor Orta and Angus at that game. Why? You should be over in Saudi Arabia. You should be wherever Rafa is. You should be getting a manager in, not playing fucking go-karts and that. Playing go-karts or whatever he was playing, arcade games. What are you doing? I couldn't wait till 1st of July, but now I don't, I don't know what happens, folks. Because Leeds United aren't going to be a Premier League football club if it continues as it is. And it is all their fault. All their fault. I can't stand them. I detest them. I feel sorry for Skabala. But he got it wrong today and he got it wrong mid on Sunday. So they've got to change it. If we don't have a manager in tomorrow or at least by Monday then they might as well not turn up on Sunday. They might as well not turn up. What are they expecting? How can you get this so wrong? You've removed Jesse from the situation. You get a win, you get a draw midweek. Atmosphere bouncing on Sunday for Man United. They don't win the game, we perform well, it's okay. Within a week, it's worse. It's worse than when before Jesse was here. How can you get it so wrong? How can you get it so wrong? They are poison, man. Poison. And people want to blame YouTubers or people who have opinions on social media. Oh, you're so negative. What? Is it any wonder? That man there, right, was the best thing to happen to this football club in decades. And they shit on him. And they shit on him. They didn't back him after a ninth place finish. We're now 18 months down the line and we're in the relegation zone where that man there never put Leeds United, ever. Regardless of if you think, all I'm saying is in 18 months, look what they've done to the football club. Ask yourself the question, what or did they get right? That man. Outside of that, it's been a shit show. And we're now going down thanks to them. Due to poor, poor management, poor transfers, poor everything. These were too busy coasting on, on Bielsa finishing ninth, talking about redeveloping the stadium and that. Forgetting about what was on the football pitch. Too busy looking at this with catching their eyes. That's all he was bothered about. And now look at us. So he deserves what he gets. But as a fan of the football club, I'm on the floor. On the floor. Because we haven't won a game this year. It's nearly March. It's our worst record after 20 games since 1947. 17 of them were by a manager that shouldn't have been at the football club. You could see... Everybody could see, even the most staunch could see.
you left it too late, and then you hadn't even bothered replacing him, which is even more laughable. And the signings that you've made, it's not looking good. It is not looking good at all. We're up shit creek without a paddle, and I don't see us getting out of this. I hope and pray. I will pray to my to my God tonight that Leeds United make a change and hopefully come good. But we shall see. Listen, smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Get your comments in. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.